Hi everybody and welcome back. Now in this lecture we're going to be looking at how to set a default value for an attribute. So every attribute in a class needs an initial value, even if that value is zero or an empty string. When setting a default value, it makes sense to specify this initial value in the body of our init method. If we do this for an attribute, we don't have to include a parameter for that attribute. So we're going to add in a default value for a new attribute here. So we're going to go self dot, and what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be a library count. So this is going to count how many books we have in our Kindle library. And we're going to set the default value to, of this to zero. And that makes sense because when you buy a new Kindle, you're not going to have any books in it. So the initial amount of books in your Kindle library is going to be zero. And because we've done it here and we've set the default value to zero, we don't have to put in a new parameter up here. So we've just added an attribute called library count that always starts with a value of zero. We'll also add in now a new method that helps us read each Kindle's library count. So let's do that here. Def, and let's call this read library. Be helpful if I spelled it right. Read the library count. Okay. Self colon. And let's describe this method. So show the amount of ebooks in our Kindle library. There we go. Let's close that. So what do we wanted to show? Well, if anybody is familiar with e-readers, you know that on the home screen, it'll say on this device or in this library are 20 books, 50 books, 101 books. But obviously, as we have just created this e-reader, the amount of books in the library is going to be zero. You have, then we go plus. Now this is going to be a string because we're outputting it. Self dot library count plus so you have it could be zero it could be 10 it could be 20 books in your kindle 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 library there we go so what do we want to do now well now if we have a look down here we can leave as we had in our last lecture my new e-reader alone we can leave print my new e-reader get e-reader name and what we want to do is we want to again call our new e-reader and we want it to read our library count brackets. Let's run this and see what we get. There we go. So we have like from our last lecture, our big descriptive name, and then we have zero books in our Kindle library. So we have zero books. Run that again. You have zero books in your Kindle library. So obviously as we download books, that'll go to one, two, three, four, and we'll look at something about doing that later. So when Python calls the init method to create a new instance, it stores the make, the model, the backlight, the battery, the screen type as attributes like it did in the previous example. Then Python creates a new attribute called library count, which we have here at line 15. And it sets its initial value to zero. We also have a new method called read library count at line 22. There we go. So I hope all of that made sense. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.